Hollywood, Ontario, number 14, Andrew Blakey. In the libero from Toronto, Ontario, number three, Roddy Kim. The head coach of the Hawks is Wayne Wilkins. He's by Hank Vaughn, Mac Robertson. So there you have it, the first starting lineup of the year for Wayne Wilkins and the Humber Hawks. Some familiar faces, some new ones as well. Raddy Kim going to be the libero, the captain of this year's squad, taking over for Cayman William Wilkins. Talking about all those players that have left the program, Cayman Wilkins may be the biggest of those names. Taking a look at Jaden Milne there. He's on the other side of this rivalry when these teams faced off in the OCAA semifinal. He had a Niagara Knights jersey on. This year, he's on the side of the Hawks. Yeah, opposite bench. They're here this time, Starting so the he's going to help 13, provide these Sandbox. Hummer Hawks teammates with a little bit of behind the scenes information. Interesting to see him pregame kind of come over to this Niagara Knights bench and dap up his fellas. Still good friends with everybody on this Knights team, but. Now in the navy and yellow instead of the blue and white of Niagara. And we're underway from the Hawks Nest. Jake Gomes Jake getting things Gomes. started early. Over and two he goes. First point of the day for the Hawks. Yeah, really good start here for the Humber Hawks getting right on the board really quickly. You definitely like to see your team get the ball in your hands to serve right away. Jake Gomes not only brings the talent, also brings the excitement. You can count on him to fire the fellas up. A service error from Jake will tie up this game. And that's something for both teams to be aware of, making sure all their serves are in the other court. Kim gets the first touch there. It's going to go over. Nice athleticism by Silva there. Point goes the way of the Knights on a violation. Yeah, good try on the defensive side there for Humber. Just couldn't react quick enough to get two hands on the ball cleanly at the same time. That one's gonna sail long. Nice work. Silva Ferreira able to duck out of the way of that one and let it sail long as Rezard Sadiku, MVP of the Durham Adidas Cup on the service line. Zalewski with the set. That one's going to get through cross court. Finding his spot is Samuel Otten. Deflecting off of Jake Gomes. Yeah, and you see there Niagara going to their right side hitter instead of the left side hitter. Naturally, the big, big power arm that they're going to swing is usually on the left side. So with Niagara going with their right side hitter, that's something that Humber is going to have to notice. Silva Ferreira. That one just across, just in, in fact. So the Humber Hawks able to tie up this game. Eduardo Silva Ferreira getting it done. Strong start from the fellas. You see them fired up right from the get go. Here's Maximum Crowder. This one going towards the net and trailing out. Not a good looking touch. Coming from the Niagara Knights backcourt, the Hawks will take the lead on the air. Yeah, a little sloppy there is the libero, not able to get his hands on it cleanly. And as the libero, you're called upon to get those passes right to that setter nice and cleanly so your team can get swinging. Nicholas Buckborough with the missed touch there. He'll get the first touch here. Once again, a little missed touch there as Humber's going to get a chance to swing. Swinging indeed, Joshua Fadari. His first touch with the Hawks makes good. First kill of the day for number two. And as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, you know, he's a Canadian youth national member, so he's going to be a really dangerous piece here for Humber. Crowder still working the service line. Knight's going to have to scramble here. Bujardini puts it over. Yeah, Buckborough having a hard time here with the passes. Andrew Blakey. How about the power by Andrew Blakey? Fifth year player for the Hawks, the most veteran for Wayne Wilkins. Yeah, puts put, that one away with authority. Yeah, putting ketchup, mustard, and mayo on that one. 
You can expect him to lead this team six foot seven. An intimidating force in the middle. Zalewski to Bujardini. Nice dig there by Maximo Crowder, but that will fade out of bounds for a Niagara Knights point. And Niagara not trying to let Humberg get too big of a lead here to start this one off. Zalewski on the service line. Let's see who it goes to. It's Blakey again, two for two. He goes on the day. And the little meter ball is gonna be successful. Switching it up a little bit with the little short pass there, the short set. Works out in Humber's favor. Badari on the service line. Not often you see a first year player contribute to the extent of Fadari. That service attempt a little wild. Possession back the way of the Knights. It'll be Elijah Bujardini. Once again, it's going to be important for both teams to get these services in. Nice serve there. First touch, Raddy Kemp. Over goes Fadari off the block of the Knights. Josh and Fadari down for the eighth the point of the night for these Humber Hawks. Yeah, Humber not giving Niagara any free balls, even with a pass that wasn't quite where it needed to go. Fadari still getting in the air and putting a good swing on it. First impressions of Fadari, mighty good. Zalewski with the touch in the middle. Raddy Kim can't get a hold of that one. Kyle Thiessen getting it done for Niagara. Yeah, the Niagara Knights getting in on the meter ball action. Thiessen to the line now. Knights doing a nice job here just to stay in the rear view mirror. Staying within striking distance of Humber. Fadari coming up from the back line. What's a little anguish on that one? Here come the Knights. That one will find pay dirt, slapping it down there, Colin Perlaz. Yeah, Colin Perlaz finding just a nice little hole there in the Humber Hawks defense. Thiessen remains on the service line as Niagara tries to tie up set one. Fadari gonna have to go into the bleachers for this one. Raddy Kim passes over a free ball. Zalewski into the middle. Off of Hadari's hand, he can't corral it. Killed there by Ashton Fair. Now once again, still going with that short service set in the middle as that meter ball is uh, being successful so far for Niagara. All tied up at eights here. Hawks trying to get Thiessen off the service line. On the far side, it's Sadiku making good. Through the block he goes. The Hawks retake the lead. Sadiku with a big finish there from the left side. Blakey with the service off the top of the white tape. Niagara Knights get themselves a free point, now a 9-9 set. Yeah, those are gonna be the two types of serves that we see most of these players use, either the big spinner jump serve or the little floater. And you definitely get a different look from both of those service types as one is more like a sinker and the other is more like a knuckleball. Service ace there for Samuel Lawton. And the service line has really played an important role early in set one. Lawton with his second serve opportunity. A mighty good one. Touch first by Sadiku. Raddy Kim gives it up to Rezart. Bujardini comes in to clean up. Putting it away once again fair on a nice set from his libero, Lazuski. Yeah, Fadari there in the back corner. Looked a little flat-footed there on that dig attempt. So he wasn't quite able to get enough arm on it. Raise our Sadiku off the block. That'll drop in for another Knights point. Yeah, really strong block there by Niagara as that's going to force Humber for their first time Shout out. out as Niagara feeling themselves a little bit as they have their first lead so far in this one. Wayne Wilkins with an appropriately timed timeout as the Knights 
have jumped out to a three-point lead here. 12-9 is your score. And we'll see what kind of adjustments Wayne Wilkins has in store for his team as they try to cut this deficit here in set one. Yeah, definitely need to get their passes on point here as causing a couple of backcourt hits didn't quite go as planned as well as a free ball. And you want to try to avoid as many free balls given up as you want to swing every single time that ball is in your side of the court. That's exactly right. The Hawks trying to get back in their swing and ways. Trying to grow off the strength of last season, the 2018 regular season. The Hawks finished 16 and two besides behind the undefeated 18 and 0 Fanshawe Falcons. Niagara Knights were fourth in the West Division going 11 and seven just a game behind the Redeemer Royals at 12 and six. Yeah, and even though this is the season opener here for the Humber Hawks, they are still, they are in about mid-season form, seeing as they started their preseason off 9-0. Yeah, that's a great point, Matt. The preseason, nine straight victories, eight of those three set sweeps. Picking up victories in the Seneca Invitational and the Durham Adidas Cup. So the Hawks coming into this one with plenty of momentum. Rezar Tadiku had some momentum on that kill attempt. Fires it down to the Knights' back line. With the kill. Yeah, put it right in between all the backcourt defenders there as the left side hitter is going to really try to look for that donut hole in the middle of the court to really spike that one in there. Jake Gomes, one of the best in the business when it comes to serving. Shows why there. First touch is over for the Hawks. They're going to get a free ball. Fadari with a laser beam. Nice work by the Knights just to put it back over. Padari again. Once again, it's touch. Libero having to work hard. This is gonna be another free ball if it gets over. Sadiku, that There's one fires in Sadiku. in front of the Libero and Bujardini. The Hawks gets themselves a hard earned point. Yeah, really good offense there by the Humber Hawks. Really going after these backcourt defenders as they're having to do everything they can just to try to get the ball in their setter's hands. On one side, you got to face Fadari. On the other side, on the other side, Sadiku. As we see that Jake Gomes serve attempt head towards the net. As well as Humber, still they've shown they're not afraid to go to that middle hitter with the short meter ball attack. And not to mention, you got to keep an eye out for Jake Gomes. He's not shy to go over on two as the setter for the Hawks. Exactly. So a whole lot of things you got to be worried about if you're on the side of Niagara Knights. Yeah, a lot of options on the offensive side of the ball for Humber. As they're even shown to be dangerous from the backcourt. The Knights clinging on to a one point lead here. That attempt could not find its way in. A hard hit ball by Samuel Otten. Yeah, Otten just couldn't quite get on top of that one, drive it down into the feet of these Humber Hawks defenders. Sadiku doing good so far here at the back line serve. With his trademark chicken wing. Saluski tries to find his man. It's Bujardini off the block. It goes. Raddy Kim can't get there in time. Yeah, unfortunate there. As a little deflection off the block put Kim just a little bit out of position. Wasn't able to get that pass on point. A back and forth set number one continues. The Knights up 14 to 13. Ashton Fair on the line. That one sails long. Nice work by Kim on the back line to let that sail over his head. Once again, Niagara giving up a point on service. As Humber's going to take that free point. Certainly not the team that needs those free points on the board. They can get them themselves just fine. Crowder floats one over. In the middle it goes. Nice work by Blakey off the net. Here's Silva Ferreira. Just misses long. And the Knights regain their lead. Yeah, another really good effort there by the Hawks to pick up that ball off of the block. Still able to get a little bit of a hit out of it. Just unfortunate. Goes, sails out the back end. Zalewski with the serve. This one's in there, a service ace for number three. Yeah, Silva Ferreira thought that was going to sail just out the back end as he was able to find the back corner. Zalewski, the captain of these Niagara Knights. 
Jake Gomes with a soft touch to Blakey. Returned by the Knights, Raddy Kim. Playing that one off the fence, Sadiku from the back line. Saluski now to Otten, Fadari gets a hand on it. Not the touch he was looking for. Blakey tried to get down, unable to reach it. A little bit of sloppy play there by the Humber Hawks. The lack of communication almost caused that rally to end a couple tries early. A one slim Niagara lead beginning to grow here up to three. Fadari on the far side. Here it goes to Otten. Off the fingertips of the block. Jake Gomes finds Fadari and he'll find the court in front of Zalewski as the Hawks try to crawl back into this one. Fadari putting an exclamation point on that one because that's what Humber needed to end that little bit of a run there by Niagara. Nice work to get Zalewski off the line. Ball turned over to Joshua Fadari. Fadari doing it up at the front of the net. Now it's time to see what he's got in service. It's an awful good one, touched by Otten. He'll get the kill attempt and he'll get the kill. Another one off the hand of Fadari. 18th point of the day for the Niagara Knights. Hawks coming in on a high after a very successful preseason, find themselves in tough against Niagara. Lakey Lopez able to collect the point there for Humber. Once again, going with that meter ball middle set there as that's been working out so far here for Humber. Andrew Blakey began his athletic career here at Humber as a baseball player, instead decided to try out volleyball, and I'm sure Wayne Wilkins is awful happy about that. He's now 11th all-time in program history with 64 career stuff blocks. Must be nice to be varsity level at two different sports. Yeah, he's an important defensive piece here for the Humber Hawks. On the far side, a mighty kill from Colin Perlaz. Yeah, Perlaz got a couple to his name so far. He's trying to put it down on that shallow angle to that right side blocker. Kyle Tesis now with the serve. Over his head goes go, and Blakey Lopez pushes it over. Otten over for the Knights. Another big kill for Niagara. Niagara doing a really good job mixing up their hitters. Humber never really knowing exactly where it's going to come from. The Knights just five points away from closing out set one. Sadiku now makes no mistake on that one. Jake yeah. Gomes to Razart Sadiku. Sadiku, that quick turnaround there. Shortening the lead here for Humber as they're going to need a little bit of a run here to get themselves back in this set. Andrew Blakey, only fifth year player on the roster. Saluski in the middle to Fair. Silva Ferreira gets the first touch. Fadari to Sadiku, a free ball for the Knights. Saluski up to Fair, and Fadari can't get that one in the air. 21 for Niagara. Yeah, it seems like early in this one, the Niagara attackers are focusing on number two in the Humber Hawks, Blue, as he's had a couple of times, had a couple hard, hard job digging those ones. Certainly a difficult play. When you have that coming in at you like a missile, but for Fidari, something he's gonna need to clean up on the back line. Over and one, fair. Off the net, it's Jake Gomes. Silva Ferreira pushes one over. Prelaz throws one, Raddy Kim with the touch, far side, Sadiku, that'll touch on the back line. Humber staying in this one, it's a two point game. And just barely clipping that line, the back end, as Humber's gonna take that. So here's Gomes with the serve. Jake Gomes set the single season record for service aces and even 50 last year. Oh, so dangerous with the service. Awfully good one there. That's what Jake Gomes brings to this club. Yeah, 
Humberger's gonna take that little bit of a back Time pass there. Over. As they're back in this one, just down by one. First time out of the day for head coach Tommy Sloan of the Niagara Knights. Seems as though that's pretty good timing. The Hawks were starting to roll, find their momentum. Time for Tommy Sloan to slow things down here. Yeah, just talk things over with his boys in blue. As they've had a pretty strong start to this one. We got a nice close game for game number one. Yeah, I'm sure if you told Tommy Sloan headed into the Hawks' nest that in set one, your team would have the lead 21-20. I'm sure he'd be pretty pleased. This is a tough place to come in and play. And yeah, considering that these teams have seen each other, this will be the third time they're seeing each other. Humber taking the first two games in the matchup. As Humber knows a little bit of what they got, but maybe switching some things up, getting a few attackers, new attackers in the game, a couple of touches. Might yeah, be these... just what Niagara needs to take the edge over the Humber Hawks. Yeah, that's exactly right, man. I mean, these teams, Fairly familiar with each other. They saw each other in the OCAA semifinal matchup last year. Jaden Mill knows both sides awfully well. I'm sure he's getting a little bit of inside information to the Hawks. Yeah, I'm sure he's giving any information that his teammates need to be successful. I haven't seen Mill enter this game just yet. As Jake Gomes returns to the line. Try to bury one cross court, nothing doing. Costly service error there as the Knights now just three points away. Looking for Sadiku, he's got him. Samuel Otten ricochets that Number one into the bleachers. Sadiku. Yeah, really tough time there with that bullet in the face of Sam Ott. And we wondered where the offense would come from with all those key hitters out from last year, it seems as though Rezar Sadiku is sliding in pretty nicely into that role. A high set there to Bujardini. Raddy Kim with the first touch. Here's Fidari. Josh! Tying up this Fidari. game. Yeah, Josh Fidari making good. That's what he needed to get himself back in the game. Getting his Humber Hawks teammates fired up with that one. He's had a few missed touches. That's got to feel awfully nice for the confidence. A big kill there. Sadiku sends that one long, so it's a short-lived tie as the Knights jump out to a one-point lead. Yeah, unfortunate there as they were going to need Sadiku to uh, go on a little bit of a run there. These surface errors are looking to be the turning point, the difference maker at least here in set number one. Ashton Fair with three service aces on the year. Eduardo Silver Ferreira gets that one blocked. Eduardo Ferreira off the It'll block. go out of bounds for a Humber Hawks point. We're tied once again. It's going to be a race to two. And sometimes as a hitter, he's trying to make the decision whether you want to rifle a ball off the block or actually try to place it into an open part of the court. Safan Manning now into the game for the Hawks. From Spanish Town, Jamaica, we'll see what the first year player has in store. A mighty nice serve. Saluski sets it up for Ott. Nice touch by Gomes over in one. Firing it right back is Bujardini. Gomes did nice work just to get a hand on that one, but sailed over the net and returned with authority by Bujardini. Yeah, the pass wasn't quite there for Gomes. As any free ball you're giving these Niagara Knights, they're going to take advantage of it. Knights trying to close the show here. Hawks trying to extend set one. Fidari with the touch. That one's in there. Call by the chair umpire. Pyre, a little bit of hesitation. Well, that one will drop in, and we got a tie game at 24. Someone's got to win by two. Yeah, looking like that ball went off of Silva's hands and just out. As Humber's going to take that one, it's Fidari. Who will take the advantage here? A miscue on the serve by Fidari. Yeah, line violation or toe violation, excuse me, there. On Fidari. Either way, didn't make it over the net. Niagara 
Looking like they're in a little bit of control here, especially from the service side of the ball as Humber's having a little bit of a hard time getting those services into the court. Both coaches talking things over. Mentioned before, Wayne Wilkins going into his 26th year as the head coach of the Humber Hawks, posting a career record of 352 wins, 124 losses. Joining him, some familiar faces on that coaching staff, Hank Ma. He's been with the team for 21 seasons, and Mac Robertson entering his sixth year. Yeah, new team manager and therapist being added to the coaching staff. As they've done a good job of getting their Humber boys ready for this one. Set point now for the Knights. It's Bujardini. That one will find the net. We're knotted up once again. Yeah, Humber's going to take that one as they don't really have to worry about it. Get themselves back in the set. Eduardo Silva Ferreira. Big serve here. That one just out. A nice eye by the libero of the Knights. Yeah, tried to go with what seemed like the safe floater. Sadly, just floating out the back end. Knights with yet another opportunity here to close it out. Silva Ferreira, Gomes, Sadiku off the block of Sam Otten. Trying the soft stuff there with the tip. Going to Perlaz. Zalewski once again to Otten. That one will find its home. Niagara Knights take set one by a score of 27 to 25. Yeah, big swing there by the left hand of Otten to get themselves ahead in this one, one game to none. Not something these Humber Hawks are used to. We talked a little bit about their preseason. One nine straight, eight of those were three set sweeps. So they really haven't find themselves behind that much. We'll see how the team responds, seeing their first bit of adversity in this young 2019 season. Yeah, only falling twice in the preseason schedule as they had themselves quite a good preseason. But it seemed like so far in this one, the service errors seem to be the difference makers as these Humber Hawks are gonna need to focus on getting those services into the court as they can't give these Niagara Knights any free points. Niagara Knights coming in to today, already 2-0 and on the year this the first game of the season for the Humber Hawks. So maybe it's a matter of just the Niagara Knights kind of being in that rhythm, getting that chemistry together going. And for the Hawks, there's a lot of new faces in that lineup. We've seen plenty of Fadari today. Maybe it's just gonna take a game or two, a set or two, just for them to become comfortable with each other. Yeah, as well as, uh, you know, this is, you know, season opener here for the Humber Hawks. So there might be just a little bit of extra nerves there for the home side. As Niagara not really worrying about, oh, you know, first game of the season, pregame nervous jitters, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll see if the Humber Hawks can uh, get themselves sort of rolling here. As with the strong start to their preseason, this was not the start they wanted to this one. The Hawks trying to build off of their second consecutive OCAA silver medal. We talked about how they beat these Niagara Knights in the semifinal to reach the final against the Fanshawe Falcons, which they dropped in a five-set thriller. One of the finest games we've seen play all last year. And give credit to those Fanshawe Falcons. They went on to run the table and get crowned CCAA champions. The Hawks also found themselves to the CCAA championship. Finished in seventh place, not the stat they were looking for. Lost to VIU to start the tournament. Also lost to Limoyou from Quebec. In the seventh place game, they did pick up a W over the Holland Hurricanes from PEI. So a strong start in Provincials. Not what they were looking for at Nationals, but this team certainly has what it takes to find themselves back in the big dance. And those Holland Hurricanes got themselves a pretty good athletics organization as we just saw their baseball team compete in the national championships. Yeah, Holland Hurricanes baseball picked up a big walk-off victory over the Humber Hawks. 
in the National College Baseball Championship to pick up a bronze medal. But this, an all Ontario rivalry. The Hawks are 22 and 11 all time versus Niagara, holding a very strong 14 and two record at home, eight and nine on the road. These teams are two and two in their last four meetings. Yeah, and with that spectacular home record for the Humber Hawks, definitely not the start they were looking for here in this one, but no worries as they look to be comfortable as their hitters are doing what they can do. Just as I mentioned before, the services definitely need to be a little bit more consistent as they need to put them in the other end of the court. Can't give Niagara any more free points. Wayne Wilkins and the Humber Hawks trying to tighten up play here to begin set two. First touch will be Jake Gomes. Sam Otten. Gomes digs that one out. Here's Ferreira from the back line. Free ball for the Knights. Fair puts it over. Kim sets to Fadari. Goes over the block and goes long. First point is set two. Couldn't, goes the way of the Knights. Couldn't quite get on top of that one and bury it into the Niagara defense. Definitely need to focus a little bit more on trying to bury that ball right in on that sort of front court divider line. Sam Here's Otten. Otten. Jake Gomes setting it up for Razart. Ashton Fair gets to it, Prelaz. Backcourt, Bujardini. Gomes to maximum Crowder. Knights are scrambling. Bujardini with a free ball over. Kim, Gomes, Silva Ferreira can't get it done. Fadari with the big touch. Pushes it out, him and Maximo Crowder went up for that one. Fadari yeah. gets the touch but pushes it out. Yeah, just pushing it a little bit too much to his left as he definitely wanted to put that one more straight down than what happened. Just got to shake it off. Fadari. Struggling a little bit here so far in this set, but we've known him to uh, been able to bounce back. First year player with a whole lot of talent. Fadari once again, the soft touch now. Nice pancake dig there by the Knights. Gomes puts it on a tee, first Sadiku. Once again, it heads out. So continued miscues here by the Hawks. Find themselves behind three to zero. going to look to try to stop this Niagara run. I need a good pass here. On with an awfully nice serve. Fadari's going to have to chase this one down. Jake Gomes just able to bump it over. Zalewski to Prelaz. Gomes with nice work to get it in the air. Razart off the block it goes. Far side. Fadari. Libero able to put it up. Bujardini to Prelaz. Kim gets it up, a nice rally for him in here. Big block by Ashton Fair off Eduardo Silva Ferreira. That Ni Niagara Knights continuing to roll here in set two. See some frustration on the face of a few Humber Hawks here. It's been a difficult start to this set. Trying to get Sam Otten off that service line. Yeah, and those are those tough rallies that you want to lose as those long rallies that drag out definitely want to be on the winning side. Good times, keep rolling for the Knights as we have a service ace. Christopher Bowen in for Jake Gomes for the Hawks, number one in for the Navy in yellow. Sam on with another opportunity. Kim pushes up for Fadari. That one was deflected initially, called out, hit a night fingertip. So Fadari gets off his little bit of a snide there with the kill. And Humber's gonna look to turn the page there as they didn't get off to the strongest start in this one, dropping five early points. First point is set two for the Hawks as Sadiku puts that one in the air. And once Out. again, the inconsistent serving 
being a real difference maker. Yeah, you've touched on that a few times, Matt, and it's really starting to rear its ugly head for the Hawks. These service errors are coughing up a lot of points to the Knights. I've got to say, Humber's doing a really good job in every other aspect except from the service line. So you get a good kill there. Uh, number 12. Maximo Crowder putting it down there. A nice set by Christopher Bowen. His first touch in this game. Maximum Crowder with maximum effort there. Seen Crowder work as more of a rotational piece for Wade Wilkins last year. One of those guys off the bench. But this season, new season, new Maximum Crowder. He's going to get an opportunity for some playing time, and it's going to try to make the most of it. Yeah, tall, lanky guy in the middle of the court for Humber. This one up for Blakey. Makes no mistake as he powers that off a of Niagara Knight into the bleachers it goes. Maximum Crowder spending the most time at the service line for Humber. Zalewski puts it up to Sam Otten. Crowder gets an arm on that one. Here comes Sadiku, middle of the court, that's in. And the Hawks are starting to make this a game. Big swing there from the back middle part of the court. So that's going to be a key piece for Humber. If they're having trouble with the passes, if they can set that ball anywhere solid for someone to get a big swing, they're going to take it. A once 5 nothing lead, now 6-4 to four for the Knights. Auden puts that one off the net. And that error will cost the Knights as the Hawks now within one. Crowder doing some nice work on the service line here. Yeah, going on a couple of runs from the service line as he's been the best one from there. Not a pretty first touch for Nicholas Buckborough there. The libero let that one roll off the fingertips. Yeah, don't see the ball go right in between the hands of many players, especially liberos, as liberos are seen to be some of the best passers off of the serve. So with that miscue, the Hawks have tied up this game, that early lead for the Niagara Knights, now a thing of the past. Crowder finally gives up his spot on the service line and still hand possession over to Niagara. Yeah, once again, Umber really needs to start making Niagara work for their points as giving up service errors is not what they need. Ashton Fair puts that one into the top of the net. Once again, this game is tied. You always know it's going to be a tight contest when the Knights come in to face the Hawks. This one living up to the expectations. Joshua Fadari sends this one up. Zalewski far side, Bujardini. Madari with a quick touch. Nice work by Bowen to get a hand on it. Blakey gives up a free ball. A kill there for Kyle Thiessen. Yeah. Nice play made as he works the middle of the court. Yeah, good spot to kill that ball in the court as Humber with a lot of area there in the back edge of the court. Bowen puts it on a tee for Lopez. Blakey does not make a mistake. Yeah, we've talked about his defensive stats with stuff blocks, showing it that he can do just as well on the offensive side of the ball. And seeing some work here in the center position by Christopher Bowen the first year, he's been awfully impressive. High set there as Otten bumps that one over. Bowen working hard to deflect that. Middle it goes, Lopez with the stuff. Kim puts it up here, Sadiku, middle of the court, that's gonna be down, and the Humber Hawks have themselves a lead. Yeah, Sadiku with a little bit of a change up on that swing. It's usually he's putting all the mustard on, but that one just taking a little bit off there. Is he able to put it in between the Niagara defenders? Oh, so crafty is the veteran, Rezart Sadiku. Here's Otten. Works his way through the block. It'll be a point for the Knights. 
Samuel Lawton has been a thorn in the side of Humber today. That one over and one for the Hawks. Just deflected over, net violation for the Knights. A little bit of a lift there as Humber's gonna take it. As they're seeing themselves with a lead here in set number two. The infraction there actually on Niagara. So it'll go back the way of Andrew Blakey. Going with the float serve. I don't know how many times you have to say it, Matt, but these service errors really start to add up. Yeah, and I would, if I would have to say if there's any difference maker here in this one, it's definitely been the ability to put those serves into the court. Point there for the Hawks. Badari went in the air, but it was blown dead before that kill attempt. Bowing up to Crowder off the noggin of a Niagara Knight. And that'll drop in for a Hawks point. We're tied at 11. Yeah, tough bounce there for Niagara, but Humber's gonna take that one. As we're gonna see Bowen serve for the first time in this one. A back and forth. Set number two continues. Bowen with a knuckleball. And once again missing back-to-back -back service aces for the Humber Hawks. Or service errors, that is. I'd much rather say aces. <laughs> Fifth year veteran, Samuel Lawton. Bowen looking for Fadari. Nice block there by the Knights. He'll put it up again. Crowder. Libero's setting things up. Perlaz off the net and down a Humber Hawks point. Nice work there by the Knights to corral themselves after that Crowder hit. But that, put it into the net. And that meter ball set has been working out well for Humber in this one. Service error after service error. This time, Rezard Sadiku. Wayne Wilkins can't be too pleased with how many free points his squad's given up. And the Knights return with an error of their own. As we see that one, a few feet out on the line there, a nice shot. Maximo Crowder had a nice run on the service line earlier in this day. Ashton Fair in the middle going up against three Humber Hawks. And he'll get the better of them. That one off the hand of Eduardo Silva Ferreira. Yeah, unfortunate there as all three defenders at the net go up for the block. As that just falls in where the player would have been if he left the block. Bowen sets it up for Silva Ferreira. He'll meet the block of Tyson and Zalewski for the Knights. And Niagara is just playing some strong fundamental volleyball here. That one out of bounds. Off the block, so point awarded to Humber. Josh Fadari on the service. He had some miscues earlier in this game, but makes good with an ace there. Yeah, maybe Joshua Fadari getting the monkey off his back a little bit at the service line. He's going to give her another go. The Hawks have found themselves with a slim lead at times in set number two. Haven't been able to pull away at all. Fadari with another nice serve. First touch by the Knights go out of bounds. Back-to-back -back service aces for Josh Fadari. Not only is this giving his team the lead, definitely a confidence boost as he tries to accustom himself to OCAA volleyball. I'm sure it's a little bit different than his time with the Canadian youth national team. 
Yeah, you're getting used to different teammates, different coaching staffs. And he's done a pretty good job so far in this one. Bowen to Blakey. That one will miss, though. A nice play set up by Bowen. But not rewarded. Bowen looking for his man. It's Fadari. That one's going to head into the bleachers. Another really good swing there by Josh Fadari. He's starting to come into his own here in this one. Just about to say, Matt, it really seemed like he's starting to get that engine running. And that's a scary thought for the Niagara Knights. Silva Ferreira taking his time on the service line. Tulewski up to Bujardini, off for Rowdy Kim into the stands. The Hawks trying to pull away, but the Knights nip it on their heels. Yeah, good defensive effort, effort there by the Hawks, but an even better effort by Niagara with the finish on that one. Bujardini with a strong serve, over and one. It goes for the Knights. A scramble here at the net. Prelaz, Josh Fadari gets a hand on it. Pushes it far side, Sadiku. Chaos here at the Hawks net as that one is returned. Sadiku gets a hand on it, blocked. Bowen gonna set it up for his man, Blakey. And the big rally ends with an Andrew Blakey kill. Yeah, tried it from each side of the court. And it seems like that meter ball in the middle has been the most effective for Humber as Blakey knows what to do with that one as it's just out of the reach of Buckborough. The West Division first team All-Star in 2018, Andrew Blakey extends this lead for the Hawks. The Hawks looking for a big response after dropping set number one. So far so good, they find themselves up 18 to 16. Yeah, they're still not out of this second set quite yet, but they're starting to look a little bit more comfortable out there on the court, especially from the service line. Let's so take a look at some of the action in set number two. Zalewski, the captain of the Knights, have been a big part of their day. In there. First two games, Robert Zalusi recorded 50 assists. Second team, second on the team, two. So that tells you all you need to know about Zalewski's role on the team. If there's a set coming, it's going to be off the hands of number three. Yeah. Averaging an insane 8.33 assists per set. Yeah, he's more often than not. Gonna pass the ball off to one of his big swingers beside him in Otten. So Luski gets the touch as Perlaz makes good. Puts that in front of Eduardo Silva Ferreira. Much like set one, it appears set two. Is going to go right down to the wire as well, a one point game. Bowen with a bump set, Fadari with a push volley. Fair in the middle, blocked by Crowder. Bowen to Crowder. That one will find the back corner. Nice work in the middle of the court. Yeah, Crowder getting, putting good skin on that one. He's gonna bury that one in between Niagara defenders. That middle hit has been the most excessive thing working here for Humber. It's Maximum Crowder doing everything he can to help his boys stay on top. Christopher Bowen out of this game, gonna make way for Jake Gomes. But what a debut there by Chris Bowen. Setting up those outside hitters. Service ace there by who else? Jake Gomes. And to go back to Bowen, him doing a really good job replacing uh, the former setter, Kim. And now it's gonna be Bowen with the service. 
so charismatic as Jake Gomes as he has a service error there. He'll get that service ace, then he'll look over at his fellows on the bench and go, hey, see that, boys? Pretty good, eh? A fun player to watch. He was an absolute joy in the OCAA Provincials that Humber hosted last year in this very gym. They're certainly going to lean on him even more than usual. Combs in his third year now with the program. On with a big serve there. That'll split the gap between Silva Ferreira and Raddy Kemp. Yeah, a really good spot to pick there by Otten. As you said, he's going to split those defenders. As they're going to take a timeout just to talk things over. Make sure Niagara doesn't nip on the heels too, too much here in set number two. Wayne Wilkins didn't like the look of things as Niagara is coming back with a vengeance here. Time to settle things down and have a chat with the boys. You see him go right over to his captain, Raddy Kim, trying to sort things out after that miscommunication. Tommy Sloan on the other side for the Niagara Knights has to be pretty pleased. Already up one set to nothing, and they're closing in here on the Hawks in set two. Yeah, Humber is really going to have to bear down here. They're not going to want to lose Niagara in this set. Really got to focus on getting those services into the Niagara side of the court as that has been the difference maker here. We'll see what Humber's response is coming out of the timeout. Wilkins having a discussion there with Gomes. Thumbs up and a nod of the head. Sam Otten, he's been dangerous. Won't be there as he puts that one into the net. That'll help Humber's cause. Now four points away from a set two victory. Yeah, Hummer's going to take that one, no question about it. Razar Tariku with the chicken wing. Good looking serve there, thrown up by Bujardini. Looks like Hummer's going to get a free ball with this one. Indeed they do. Gomes fighting Fadari off the block and out. Referees. Had a little bit of a discussion there and now rule it in. That one seemed pretty obviously in. Called out initially, but the right call was made. Nice work by the chair umpire to have a little bit of a read, a, a do-over on that call. That's exactly why they have umpires on both sides of the net. An ace for Rezart Sadiku as that one is off the diving attempt of Nicholas Buckborough. Sadiku's starting to feel himself a little bit with that one as Humber now finding themselves up comfortably here in this set number two. They had a great response after that Wayne Wilkins timeout, and now it's time for Tommy Sloan to call one of his own. His team is now in, in threat of dropping set number two as we take a look at some of the recent action. Crowder in the middle of your screen there, throwing it up. A pushover by Fadari. They've been active out there, the Humber Hawks running and bumping into each other. A new team with a lot of new faces trying to get the chemistry down. You see the miscommunication there. Yeah, communication definitely an important part of the game. As there has been a couple of kerfuffles there when it comes to communication, but I think Humber's starting to uh, find themselves out of the mist here, looking a little bit more clear. It's something we saw from the women's team as well early on tonight. A lot of turnover on their squad as well. Not the tenacious start that we're usually used to. The Humber volleyball programs, I mean, they've been as dominant as any varsity program across the province. New faces in the mix as they try to climb their way back to the top of the OCAA. Cross court by Prolaz there. Keeps the Knights in it. Yeah, 
Knights need five, Hawks need just two. Perlaz along with Otten doing most of the damage here for Niagara. Gomes looking for his man. He'll find him. Silva Ferreira with authority. Yeah, really enthusiastic swing with that one. As they go with a nice long set across. He's gonna lean into that one. No one loved it more than the Humber bench. Juices are flowing as they try to close out set number two and tie up this match. And here's our first look at Jaden Milne. He'll look across the court at some former teammates over on that Niagara side. Yeah, a little bit of a different look for him. A nice serve to start off his Humber career. Bujardini puts it off the head of Blakey. And that one will deflect out of bounds. A big point there by Bujardini. See a three-man wall for the Hawks. Couldn't get it done. It's after that service. Jaden Milne will check right back out of this ball game. Yeah, there definitely are times where you're going to want to go with a three-man block. Looked like it would work pretty successfully there, just squeezing in the left side of the block there was that point as Humber's gonna take that one. Ashen Fair into the net, 25th point. Upset two for Humber as they take a four point victory to tie the match up at one set apiece. Early in this one we were seeing a little bit of service errors from the Hawks side. Now Niagara starting to uh, come apart at the seams in the What's service up, end. Fans? Hope as they gave Humber a couple there if you want a free to allow Humber to get back into that set and into the game, tying this one up. Going into an all-important set number three, this Hawks crowd getting fired up with some free T-shirts. Take a look at the Humber bench. They're still having a good time. Plenty of smiles left. They know they have the talent to close out this game. Mentioned the play of Jake Gomes, setting the single season record for service aces with 50. And now the career record for assists with 743. A great career for Jake Gomes. Isn't done just yet. Now just in his third year of OCA OCAA eligibility. He's not going anywhere just yet. Yeah, potentially a couple more seasons here with Humber. Limited experience on the Hawks, as we mentioned off the top. Dylan Devasheri, Rafael Hilario, Cayman Wilkins, and John Obi all moving on to the program with a few others as well. The reason we highlight those four, plenty of points on the board about 14 points a set out of those four guys that you're missing from your lineup so you got to look up and down your roster and see who's going to step up who's going to provide those 14 15 points that have been vacated and so far we've seen a little bit of blakey we've seen a little bit of fadari seen a little bit of blakey really seems to be a team effort trying to fill those holes yeah a couple of really good young players Added to the team for the Humber Hawks in Fidari and Milne. As Fidari has shown to be a little bit of a difference maker with a couple of nice kills. Struggling a little bit from the service line, but looked as if he was starting to get the monkey off his back with that one in that last set. Josh Fidari and Christopher Bowen, the only first years to really see much playing time so far in the first two sets. We'll see if any of the others find a way to work themselves into the mix. Mustafan Manning made his way into the game, even if only for a couple of serves. But yeah, they, Wilkins is gonna do what he can to work his young, new rookies into the lineup fairly, I would say, as this whole Humber Hawks lineup can do the job on both ends of the ball. Plenty of depth on this roster as well. We've mentioned Jaden Milne a bunch just because of his connection to the Niagara Knights. He's only been in for one service attempt, but this is a guy who has almost 400 career points in the OCAA to go along with 196 digs. Yeah, exactly. So he's, he's got the chops 
offensively and defensively. Most likely on any other team in the province, he'll be a starter. But instead, he finds himself as more as a rotational piece to at least start the season for Wayne Wilkins. I'd expect with his talent, he'll see more and more playing time as the season goes on. Niagara is going to start the serve with Otten. He's done a really good job for them. Crowder bounces that one off the net. Going to be returned here. Once again, it's Crowder, a soft touch controlled by the libero. Perlaz on the far side, off the block of Gomes. Can't keep it in bounds. Nice work by Crowder and Gomes. Getting up for the block, but can't keep it between the lines. Yeah, just didn't quite have that good angle on the ball to make sure it deflects back into the Niagara side of the court. Unfortunate there, but still good defensive play there by the Hawks. Samuel Otten has spent a lot of time on that service line for the Knights. Big dig there by Silva Ferreira. Crowder with a hard hit, but that one's corralled. Gomes to the middle, it's Crowder. Putting it down for the Hawks' first point of set three. And with how many service errors Humber has given up in this one, really good job for them to take advantage of that free ball and put it down for the point. Pretty good positioning by the libero there, Sawatsky. But an even better placement on the kill. Gomes puts that one into the net. That's uncharacteristic for him. Yeah, trying the big spinner there with that one. Just couldn't quite get it up over top of that net. Almost like a pitcher at baseball, Jake Gomez from the service line. So many tricks up his sleeve. Maximum Crowder whiffed on that kill attempt, but that's all good. The set was put over the net. Yeah, almost worked in his favor there with the whiff. Just went off the hands of the Niagara player as Humber definitely is going to take that one. And who knows with how creative this Humber Hawk side is, that could have been intentional for all we know. Yet another service error. So that error issue is following the Hawks into set three. I'm sure that's something they would have liked to leave in the early part of this match. Ashton Fair now. One point lead for his side. And it might almost be worth it for the Humber servers just to go with that little easier float serve just to get it into the court. As you really don't like to see the amount of points that they have given up due to service errors. We see some dueling errors as Ashton Fair showing some frustration on the bench, throwing down a chair. Maximo Crowder with that float serve. You've been talking about Zalewski to Bujardini. A big dig there by Zalewski, backcourt Prelaz. Here's Fidari. Prelaz is going to have to run that one out. A free ball for the Hawks as the libero puts it over. It's important for them to take advantage of another free ball, and that's exactly what they're going to do with Blakely. Absolutely laying that one down. Swinging the arm back and unloading. Six foot seven middle, Andrew Blakey. Click, clack, bang. That middle barrel doing all the damage here for Humber in this one. Maximum Crowder in that ninja headband. A knuckler over. Bujardini, soft touch off the net. That point will go the way to the Hawks. Yeah, a 5-3 lead for him. Didn't quite get the set that Bujardini was looking for there. Tried to go with the soft touch just to tip it over top of those Humber blockers. But a good job there by Humber just to get right in the face, stuff it out. The Knights leave that one, and rightfully so, is that serve by Maximo Crowder heads long. The captain, Zalewski, with the serve. Gomes finds Sadiku in the backcourt. A whole lot of power behind that one. Just a little too much. And once again, it seems like that middle barrel is going to be where Humber is going to go for here early in this third set. Unfortunate there that just went out in the back end. Seems as though the Hawks have found a weakness, and they're trying to exploit it. Sam Otten off the block. Nice dig by Zalewski. That one will head out of bounds, though, so the Hawks collect the point on the hard kill. 
Blakely doing a really good job putting up that big block, making sure nothing gets through. You notice these guys doing a really good job making sure they're layering their hands up, providing a nice tight fit, nice tight brick wall there for the Humber block. Badari with an awfully good looking serve, service ace. Yeah, nice little slider there by Fidari. Dropping that right in front of the libero, Buckborough. Best serve of the day so far by Fidari. We'll see how he follows it up. Another good looking one there, this time corralled by the Knights, Bujardini. Hawks keep it alive, Raddy Kim, Fidari. That one goes a country mile long. Yeah, Fidari once again just not doing a good job getting on top of that one, driving it down. Definitely has had some issues with his kills, but for the most part has looked really solid. Bujardini, one of the standout players in the OCAA Provincials last year. Another service error, not the first of the day. And these Knights had a pretty good run in that OCAA Provincial Tournament last year. The two really standout players for them were Bujardini and Milt. And Milt finds himself on the other side of the net. So you gotta imagine now this is Elijah Bujardini's team. Not to mention Robert Saluski, the captain, pitching in as well with all those assists. Yeah, the captain, making sure he always finds a way to get his hands on the ball and get involved in the play. He's been all over the court tonight. Knights within one, here's Thiessen. Gomes finds Sadiku off the block, cross court. Andrew Blakey can't get to it. Yeah, big swing, but an even bigger block there by Niagara College as they find themselves back in this one, tied at eight here in set number three. All tied up at eight, an all important set number three. Jake Gomes over and two, the cheeky play gets it done. Yeah, that's the first time that he has done that since the very first play of the game. As maybe leaving the head of the Niagara players, taking a really good advantage of that play is Jake Gomes. Gomes so creative, you mentioned it. He used it on the first play of the game, but he doesn't break it out again till the third set. Jake Gomes always leaving you guessing. Yeah, he really does a really good job of picking his spots wisely. Big kill there for the Knights, that's Colin Prelaz. Sadly, just finding its way out of the court as Blakely will take it, as he's gonna try it once again. Set up towards the net, Prelaz, Fadari able to dig that out of the dirt. Here's Silva Ferreira, a big hit. Saluski putting it on a tee for Otten. Their free ball, Humber's got to take advantage. And once again, that's three free balls that they have gotten in this set. And they've taken advantage of all three of those. It's exactly what Wilkins likes to see from his Humber Hawks. Badari hammered that home for the 11th point of the set. Blakey stays on the service line and he'll get himself an ace. Blakey putting that one down very nicely as Humber Starting to find themselves on a little bit of a roll here late. In, well, about halfway through set number three. When his team needs him, the fifth year veteran is there. That'll put an end to his run with the service air. Yeah, tried switching it up there with the float serve. Didn't quite get enough palm on it. And Sam Otten has been doing such a good job here for the Niagara Knights at the service line. Humber's got to stay on their toes with this one. Gomes with the set. Crowder trying to bring that one right down. Not the touch he was looking for. Trying to explain to Jake Gomes there what he was intending to do. Yeah, it didn't look like he got quite the set that he desired there. Tried to do the best he could with it. But unfortunately, Humber's going to lose out that one. It's been tough for the Hawks to get Auden off the service line. Going to try to do that here. Sadiku. Saluski puts this one up. Here's Otten. Off the top of the net it goes. Can't be corralled by Perlaz. And as much as we've seen the big swing from Otten, 
mostly it's come from the front part of the court. Uh, he hasn't been able to find quite the swing at the back part of the court as that one goes into the net. The oh so dangerous Jake Gomes gonna try to go on a run here. First serve is a knuckler. Sam Ott, nice work to bump that up. Bougiardini puts it down, a great recovery by the Niagara Knights. Yeah, you're exactly right. What a recovery there by the Niagara Knights is that looked to almost be another free ball for Humber. But no, says Bujardini as he's gonna put that one down from the back of the court. Sam Otten leaning over the coaching staff to make that play a service error by Prelaz. Goes to show you never get up, never give up on a ball if you can get to it. Yeah, exactly. Every each one of these guys are gonna sacrifice life and limb to try to make that play. Just didn't quite work out in favor for Niagara that time. Razar Sadiku from Kosovo. This one towards the net and out. Saluski tried to track that one, couldn't go under the net. Really and the Hawks strong. have a four point lead. Yeah, really strong spinner there by number seven, Sadiki. Sadiku, sorry, excuse me. So he's gonna try to go on a little bit of a roll here as Humber finding themselves with a little bit of breathing room up 15 to 11. Try to attack the far side of the court, misses on that attempt. A three point spread here. It's been a tight match the whole way and set three is shaping up the same way. Ashton Fair just gets that one over. Gomes sets it up for Silva Ferreira. A big block by the captain, Robert Zalewski. And the Knights are inching closer to tying up this game. Yeah, you're exactly right. Gomes there tried that shotgun set, the far side of the left-hand hitter. Just didn't quite work out in their favor as that ball just skimmed past to the back of the head of Crowder. Quick discussion between Raddy Kim and the chair umpire. Yeah, making sure everybody's on the same page. A yellow card here to Wayne Wilkins. Yeah, Wilkins a Coaches. little bit upset with that one as he's following the rules there, trying to talk to his team captain on the court and gets teed up there. Yeah, all the communication has to, at least the communication from head coach to chair umpire must come between the captain of the team. So Wayne Wilkins trying to relay the information to Raddy Kim and instead he showed something over to the chair umpire, which he didn't like. Either way, Hummer's gonna take that toe violation on the service as Crowder's gonna take the ball here for service. Humber up by three, 16 to 13. Taking points any way they could get them. Hawks trying to take a two to one set lead. Crowder with a floater just over. Far side, Bougiardini with a finesse touch. Jake Gomes back to track that one. Humber over it goes, Silva ball. Ferreira. Bujardini with a big hit. That's going to get over the block and over the head of Jake Gomes. Niagara Knights within two. Yeah, Fandari kind of putting his head to the sky there. He didn't quite get enough of it on that block. Niagara starting to claw themselves back into this set. This one goes to Silva Ferreira. Really nice work by Rezard Sadiku there. He's seen him look up and down about four or five times when that ball was in the air, making sure he tracked it well. Made the right call on it, nice court vision. Yeah, definitely one of those judgment calls here in the game of volleyball that can really bite you in the butt. Is that one working out in the favor of Humber as Fadari is gonna go at it with the spinner here. Zalewski gets the touch. Not the one he was looking for. That one drops right on top of the net. Hard yep. to control. Really good job there from Blakey to make sure both of those hands don't go too far over the net as he can't have those hands go into the attacking side of Niagara. So you can see the captain there going to the chair umpire saying, hey, his hands were too far over the net there. I couldn't get a set. It's a great point, Matt. Some good body control by the big six foot seven middle. 
Blakey over in one. That'll do it for the 19th point of the match, of the set, that is. Andrew Blakey saw his opportunity, no reason to set up a play as Tommy Sloan going to call a timeout here for his night squad. Yeah, he's going to talk it out with his boys in blue as Humber starting to find themselves on a little bit of a roll here. And first things first, Tommy Sloan going to have a talk with his captain, trying to figure things out. A look over at the Humber bench, Razor Tadiku having an awfully fine game. There's Tommy Sloan talking to his guys. Still has a smile on his face. His team's not out of it just yet. His second year behind the bench for the Knights. Yeah, definitely important for Niagara to keep attacking. As you said, they are not out of it. As well, it's important for Humber to stay on their toes and make sure they don't get too complacent as they have been proven to give up a couple of points here and there off the service. So late in this set number three, it'll be interesting to see how consistent the Humber serve can stay. Let's see if the Knights have a response after that Tommy Sloan timeout, trying to claw their way back into the set number three, down five here. They won a tight set one, drop set number two. Yeah, been a really entertaining and tight contest here so far through this one. This is gonna be Josh Fadari with the serve to restart this set number three. Humber women's volleyball team getting the quick 3-0 sweep over the Niagara Knights. The men in tough now. That one off the block and in. Another good try there by the Humber defense. Just weren't able to get tight enough to the net on that block. That just squeaks past. Number eight, Silva Ferreira. This scrappy Knights team not going anywhere. Blakey with an awkward touch, but it'll get over. Here's Sam Otten. Padari with the first touch. Gomes, Silva Ferreira, off Saluski, and into the bench. A big point for Eduardo. Yeah, big answer back there for Humber, as they're not going to let Niagara get back into this one. As they want to start their season off with a nice one beside the W column. Five points away from winning set three. Palaz makes no mistake there, working through the block of Blakey and Gomes. Yeah, going cross court to that big arm of Perlaz as he's been that other part of the dynamic duo of Otten and Perlaz that have done most of the damage here for the Knights. Gomes sets that one up for Sadiku off of Bujardini. That'll hit the basketball rim way up high in the Hawks' nest. Yeah, really real big swing there by the left side hitter. As Niagara had to scramble a little bit there. As you don't really see the ball hit off the roof too, too often. Only really when someone puts a real nice swing on it. Give credit to Saluski there. He's ready to run up that wall chasing that one. That's what you want out of your captain. Madari puts that one over, a tough play here as it heads to the net. Sadiku and Crowder were there to tidy up the mess for the Hawks. It's Sadiku getting the touch. Yeah, good job there by the Humber defense, recognizing that that ball was getting a little bit too deep on the net. Doing a really good job just burying that right down at their own feet. Manning with a serve over. Bujardini hits the net, Sadiku able to dig. Silva Ferreira, a big hit is gonna be returned. Zaluski to Otten. Nice work by Sadiku to come off the block. Sadiku once again tipped and deflected away, but a violation by the Knights will give the Hawks the point. And if there has been a TSN turning point for Humber here in this set, it's been their ability to convert on the free balls given up by the Niagara Knights as Four of the free balls that the Humber Hawks have gotten has turned into a point for them. Manning with another serve opportunity, a violation on the serve. Toe touch the line, can't do that. Yeah, a little bit of a shame there as that was a real good spinner there by Manning. 
Still the Hawks sitting pretty here in set three, just two points away from closing things out. Definitely not out of it though, as it's gonna be Sam Crowder for the service and he's been more dangerous from the back part of the court. Auden gets that one over. First touch, not what the Hawks were looking for. Fadari can't put that one to the skies. So a nice serve by Sam Otten gets rewarded. Yes, sadly, number eight, Silva Ferreira, not able to get that pass quite high enough and into the setter's hands. So that one's just gonna go a little bit too deep and into the Niagara part of the court. Another good one. Gomes puts it on a tee for Fadari. And that hand got over the net. Fadari with a big smile on his face. He put an absolute walloping on that volleyball. Yeah, put a tattoo on the ball, and the ball put a tattoo on the court. Real big swing there with that one. And it was a little unfortunate there. It wasn't able to turn out in Humber's favor. As once again, Samuel Otten finding himself on a little bit of a roll. The old commentator jinx, there it is. Good enough for a service error. Possession will go the way of the Hawks on set point. Yeah, sometimes the commentator curse works out in our favor, sometimes not. <laughs> As we're going to have Bowen with the serve. Jake Gomes trying to close the show in set number three. Zalewski puts it up for Perlaz. Off the block it goes, rolling down Maximum Crowder. And the Knights are staying alive. Yeah, the Knights definitely giving all the hustle they have left in the tank to try to claw their way back into this one. That one is absolutely airmailed by Colin Perlaz. And the Hawks will take it, point 25, as they close out set number three to take a 2-1 match lead. Yeah, Humber didn't get off to the greatest of starts here in this one, but able to climb themselves back and take the lead here, two sets to one. A hard fought set number three goes the way of the Hawks as they're gonna try to close out the Niagara Knights in four sets. A look back at some of the action. Silva Ferreira was involved a whole bunch. You see that one set wide. And pretty productive day for that Humber Hawks front line. Yeah, the front line of the Hawks doing everything that they need to keep themselves in this and to try to get as much of a lead for their service as, uh, once again, their service hasn't been quite the strongest, but they definitely cleaned it up a little bit more in that set. Less than two minutes away from set number four. The Hawks trying to start their season in the win column. This the home opener. Yeah, you're exactly right. The home side here in this one. Wanting to get off to a strong start in their season. As well as hand the Niagara their first loss of the season. This the first of 18 conference matches for the Hawks throughout the season. Nine of those games and even half will be at home. And a big test coming up for their next home game. It's the CCAA champion, Van Shaw Falcons. The Humber warm up. Getting a little bit rowdy putting one off of our monitor here. If that thing breaks, it sure ain't going on my tab. So we've seen some contributions out of a couple of the first year players in their first action of the year. Joshua Fadari has been awfully impressive in its first start. We've seen him have some miscues a little bit earlier on in the day, but has really shaped things up later in this match. Christopher Bowen came in from a time, relieving Jake Gomes in that setter role, and he had some nice plays made. And as well, Safan Manning has gone in a couple of times, had some nice service attempts. 
So a pretty good day all in all for these first year players as they're trying to work their way into a veteran laden lineup. Yeah, and definitely not to be outdone by some of the veteran presence in this lineup as Sadiku having himself a little bit of a night with 10 kills to his name as he's been one of the more potent parts of this Humber Hawks offense. Sadiku has been really impressive. Obviously, Jake Gomes, I mean, you can't talk Humber men's volleyball without talking about Jake Gomes. He's kind of the fuel to the fire for this squad. And how about Andrew Blakey coming into his fifth year? You know he's going to be really the, the catalyst of this offense. He's going to be the big man in the middle. And he's been playing great as we see him just walk by the commentator table here. He'll start set three on the bench. Can't imagine he'll be sticking there too long. Yeah, he's been absolutely mashing, especially from that middle part of the court as he's been able to do a lot of damage with those meter ball sets. Here's Gomes to Sadiku. Can't find its way in. The Knights break the ice. And Sadiku letting that one travel a little bit too far to the left of his body. Not able to get enough skin on that one to put it into the Niagara side of the court. As once again, we will see Samuel Otten. Seems as though he spent his whole night on the service line. Maximum Crowder in the middle. Bujardini puts it up. Prolaz, that'll sail along. Eduardo Silva Ferreira lets that one go. And that's the first we've seen him. Prolaz really getting underneath the ball, not getting on top as he has been able to so effectively here against Humber in this one. Sadiku getting ready to serve, but instead the point goes the other way. Chair umpire ruled there was a net touch. So instead of a 1 1 set, it's now 2 0 Niagara. Sadiku is ready to toss that ball up in the air. Yeah, definitely unfortunate for Humber, but just one more thing they gotta shake off to keep themselves in this one. They can't let Niagara get too far ahead. So they'll get that point right back now, 2-1. And now Rezar Sadiku will get his opportunity to serve. Accompanied by his team. Nice work by Auden to get to that one. Bujardini puts it up. Buckborough with a free ball over for the Hawks. Gomes, Sadiku sails that one. Not the touch he was looking for. A little bit of frustration on his face. Yeah, tried to go with the backcourt set there. Just once again didn't get on top of it the way he needed to. Gomes looking for Crowder and finds him. Crowder finds the court for the second Humber point. Yeah, once again, going back to that middle barrel to get themselves offense going here in set number three. That really appears to be the part of the court that Humber's been focusing on. Yeah, and it provides you so many options. You can go with the little finesse touch. You can also go to the left and right side of you as you got a little bit more room on each side of the court. How about that touch by Saluski? Just getting that right hand up there, a little cross-court point. Yeah, catching the Humber defense a little bit off guard with that one. So see the play made there over in two. Yeah, haven't seen much of the two touches from the captain. Familiar place, a familiar spot for Andrew Blakey as he brings that one right down to the court. And the Hawks are within one. Josh Fadari has been a staple in this game. First year player appears to be a big cog in the Humber machine. Bujardini with the hit and he'll find the middle of the court. Niagara jump back out to a two point lead. Yeah, Sadigu just backpedaling a little bit too far with that one allowing a little bit too much space for that ball to drop in. As you can see, Sadiku talking it over with his head coach. Wilkins urging his players to move. Don't be flat-footed. Violation called against Jake Gomes as he touched the net. Yes, unfortunate there for Gomes as that would have been a sure point there for Humber. Sadly, his fingertips are going to touch that white tape at the top of the net. Knights doubling up the Hawks here, six to three. 
That one will get down for Silva Ferreira. Lead cut to two once again. Hawks trying to claim a four set victory. The Knights trying to push things to an all deciding fifth set. Silva Ferreira with the service. First touch to Buckborough. Zalewski, Bujardini. Fadari with a nice touch there. Gets it up for Gomes. Here's Rezart. Off the block of Bujardini. Blakey can't get a hand on it. And Sadiku having a little bit of a hard time here in set number four. Having a couple of opportunities, but hasn't had anything to show for it here in this one. Fadari unable to find that near side. Christopher Bowen coming back into this one first year. Gonna shake the hand of Jake Gomes as Jake will head over to the Hawks bench. Bowen impressive in his first appearance. We'll see what he has in store here. He'll get this touch, a bump set to Raddy Kim, who pushes it over. Here's Palaz finding the court. Big point for Niagara as they jump out to a five-point lead. And there's Niagara doing a really good job taking advantage of the free ball Humber gave up. We've been talking so much of Humber's ability to capitalize on the free ball. Niagara Knights showing that they have the same ability there. Bowen over in two, and that'll work. And maybe that's what uh, Bowen and, excuse me, Gomes were talking about there when uh, he came into the game, checking in that one. Bowen showing a little bit of the athleticism, but directing that one there. Three times in this game, the Hawks setter have gone over like that in two, and all three times it's worked. They've used it only sporadically as the Hawks will get awarded a point here. Humber setters have been doing a really good job picking their moments. Perhaps that's something they could take advantage of as this game moves on. Blakey's floater of a serve will keep floating past the back line. Once again, the inconsistency in the Humber service proving to be a little bit of a factor. Niagara finds themselves up four, 10 to six. Crowder in the middle, Thiessen gets a hand on it. Bujardini chases it down. Perlaz will just toss up a free ball. Rezart Sadiku off the block. Silva Ferreira gets the touch. Sadiku once again, over the block it goes. Thiessen gonna put it up. Here's Sam Otten off the fingertips. Bowen's gonna get a hold of it. Rezart. That one is in there, seventh point of the set for the Humber Hawks. A beauty off the hand of Rezart Sadiku. Yeah, Sadiku showing that he's still got that swing. Really good set there by both teams, recovering from the digs. But once again, Humber taking advantage of the free balls that they have been given. Fair in the middle, makes good on that attempt. So just as though when it seems the Hawks are starting to get that momentum roll and the Knights respond right back. And really important here with Otten with the service, Humber really got to do everything they can to get the ball back in their hands. Otten with the serve to Rowdy Kim. Josh Fadari throws that one down. I'd love to get a radar gun out on Josh Fadari. Yeah, Joshua Fadari showing exactly why he deserves to be on the starting lineup as a first year player. The big swing there. From the Canadian youth national team to the Hawks nest, Joshua Fadari making his mark. Here's Perlaz, three man block will get it done. We're gonna try the three man block again. This time, just unsuccessful. They weren't as tight as they needed to be there at the net with that one. 
Hawks got the better of them the first go around. This time, Prelaz gets the advantage. Hawks in the right positioning, but just didn't get the bounce. A great set there by Bowen. A low screamer over to Maximum Crowder. Yeah, that's what I like to call a shotgun set there, as it's almost halfway between a meter ball and a big set. Really Bowen good, really continuing his job. strong debut for the Hawks. Yeah, exactly. Bowen doing a really good job replacing Gomez in the setting position when he needs to. A soft touch will be good for the 10th point, Andrew Blakey. And Humber Hawks continuing to show a really good job of mixing up their offense, going with the soft stuff, going with the hard stuff, going with the uh, setter with their little play that they've worked to success so far in this one. Crowder will find the white tape. Yet another, another service error for the Hawks. Niagara Knights maintaining this three-point lead. And you definitely got to think with some of the service errors happening here in set number four, this could be a real different score. Back-to-back -back service errors. We've seen plenty of those. Teams have been trading them. Set number four up for grabs for either side. We'll see who's able to go on a run. Fidari. Going to try to start one here. Tyson in the middle will get the favorable roll off the net. Down it goes. Lead remains at three. Yeah, you said it there. Unfortunate roll for Humber. The captain Zalewski will put this one up. Sails over everybody. Good job by Silva Ferreira to recognize that that had the potential to sail long, dropping his hands. That one did not miss by much. Takes a lot of reps for your eye to be able to pick up on that minute of a difference. Buckborough, Zalewski, Bujardini smacks that one down in front of Raddy Kim. The Knights trying to pull away. Really good back set there by the captain. And a big swing there by Bujardini. Service error. A little bit of a broken record tonight with all these serves missing their mark. Guess you could toss that up to some early season rust. And Drew Blakey. Knight's going to have to scramble. Sam Otten off the block. Nice work to recover. Zalewski with the free ball. Bowen to Crowder. Bujardini gets a hand on it. He'll put it over. Fadari. Bowen. Sadiku. Nice work by Zalewski. Tyson tried to go over in two, but nothing doing for him there. A big point for the Humber Hawks. Yeah, a huge point there as. Bowen does a really good job recovering from the bad pass of Fidari. They were able to capitalize really good effort there. As Sadiku putting good skin on that one. Hawks bench starting to get in to this one. They could feel a comeback. Those hands of the Humber blockers got a little too friendly with the Niagara side. Fadari from the backcourt. Sam Otten against the block. Nice work by Crowder off the net. Razor going to try to put it away. Can't. Miscommunication between Bujardini and Fair. Yeah, miscommunication there. You said it. Bujardini looked like he wanted to go full swing on that one. Fair just getting in his eyesights a little bit. Didn't go fully commit to that one. Christopher Bowen, six foot first year player out of Georgetown. Scrambling are the Knights there, able to put it over. Crowder there.
can't put it away. Here's Perlaz off the block. It goes Fadari and Crowder. Buckborough, far side to Otten. And I believe a two touch called on that play. So the Hawks awarded the point that ties up this set number four. Yeah, Humber's definitely going to take that one. Is you don't really see the two touches very often from the setter or the libero, as it was in this case. And Humber here need to get themselves on a little bit of a roll in set number four. Bujardini with a bump towards the net. Otten just barely able to get it over. Bowen finds Razart off the block and down. Otten and Fair were there. And the Knights regain their lead. A good try there by Sadiku to try to just tip that over top of the block of the Niagara Knights, but good recognition there from Fair to uh, realize that that wasn't going to be the case. Auden puts that one into the net. He's had a great night serving. Yeah, we haven't seen too many service errors from number 13 on the Niagara side. As now Sadiku, it'll be his turn for the service. Love the bench reaction every time Sadiku gets the ball in his hands. Service error for Rezart Sadiku, not what he was looking for in that situation. That's really unfortunate here for the Hawks, doing everything they can to try to get themselves on a roll, but the serve, which is the most important part of each rally, Needs to be a little bit more consistent. Sadiku with the mistouch once again. He'll check out of this game. Coming in, Jaden Milne. In his third year of OCAA eligibility, played his first two with these very same Niagara Knights. A nice dig there. Silva Ferreira looking for that backcourt, but goes far too long. That point overturned as it was deflected by the front line of Niagara. Yeah, hum Humber trying to get their point across that that might have been touched by the Niagara defense as Humber's going to take that one as they find themselves down by one here, 19 to 18. Nice work by the umpires there to be sure that the correct call was made overturning the Knights' points towards the Hawks. Crowder, a Sudbury native, puts that one over. Here's Bujardini off the block. Blakey. Huge, huge block there by number 14 for Humber. Blakey. He had his friend Fidari with him. Yeah, actually, that might have came off of Fidari's hand. As either way, a big, strong block there for the Humber Hawks. But once again, service errors. Being the difference maker here, as Humber could have found themselves tied up, now find themselves once again down by one. Yeah, big shake of the head of Maximum Crowder as he heads to the bench. Service errors continue to plague these Hawks. I'm sure that's something Wayne's going to have them working on in practice. Bujardini throws that one up. Austin Fair just has to push that one over. Humber's got to take advantage of this free ball here. Silva Ferreira tries to. Nice touch by Perlaz. Bujardini off the block. Jaden Milne puts it up. Bowen to Silva Ferreira. Off fingertips once again. Saluski to Sam Otten. That one is in there. Big point for the Knights on a pretty rally. Yeah, big point there for Niagara, as you definitely want to be the one to win those tough rallies. So now Humber is going to take a timeout here, make sure that everybody on the Humber side is on the same page. Wayne Wilkins isn't going to let this one get away from him. With the Knights four points away from tying up this match, he's going to call timeout. Four minutes that he gets to uh, calm his boys down and get them in it. Some strong plays from either side in set number four. Silva Ferreira has been involved a whole bunch from that left side. 
Hawks are going to need a lot more of that if they want to get back into this set and potentially close out the Niagara Knights. Definitely an up, uphill battle ahead of them. It's going to be uphill from here, but they are certainly not out of this one. Only down by three. As you know, one bounce here or there can definitely turn the tide here for the Humber Hawks. If the Knights are able to close out this set, we'll be going to a deciding fifth set. First to 15 will win the match. Yeah, Humber gonna do everything in their power to make sure that it doesn't go to the all deciding fifth. Blakey, nice work by the Knights to keep that in the air, but that one gets away from it. Bujardini can't scramble for it, and the Hawks are back within one. Another bit of sloppy communication there by the Knights. That one just out of the reach of Elijah Bujardini. That looked like Bujardini and Otten got their signals crossed a little bit. Christopher Bowen back out of this game after another successful stint. That means Jake Gomes back to his usual center position. Not a great time for that service error off the hand of Josh Fadari. Yeah, Fadari really having a hard time there at the service line. Other than that, he's had a really good day here for Humber and his first game, the regular season Humber Hawk. Blakey goes off the Niagara block. Humber sticking tight in this game. Eduardo Silva Ferreira, an important service for him here. Chance to tie up set four. A real short serve there. Bujardini off the block. Nice work by Eduardo. Milne going to chase this one down. A free ball for the Knights. Zalewski in the middle. Thiessen. Gomes gets that one. A bump set for Milne. Cross court he goes. Returned by the Knights. Sam Otten off the block. And that one is out of bounds. A big point for the Knights. Sam Otten got everything behind that one. Another big swing from Otten, really being that offensive powerhouse on the side of the Knights. An important service error there for the Hawks is once again, they're within one. Knights need two, Hawks need three. And at this point in the set, it's gonna be really, really crucial for Hummer to get these services into the Niagara side of the court. Big spot for the first year. Instead, we'll have a little break in the action here as we'll have a timeout. Tommy Sloan taking his first of set four. You gotta imagine both coaching staffs will start to drop some set plays here in these all important last few points, trying to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. Yeah, definitely wanna gonna try to give themselves the best opportunity to put some points on the board and narrow this 23-22 lead. Maximum Crowder with the big strike there. Nice scramble though by the Knights. You've seen the Hawks' body language there. They might have thought that was their point. Instead, had to keep working. That's not over until you hear that whistle blow. A pretty good looking rally by either side here. And an awfully competitive one as we take a look at some of the Humber Hawks faithful. I think I just saw a Chris Wilkins sighting. His women's team picked up a W over the Niagara Knights, a three set sweep at six o'clock tonight. Sam Otten, that's a hard kill off a Hawks arm. And the Knights just now one point away from forcing a fifth set. Real important here for Humber to bear down. As they still aren't out of it yet, but looks as though Wayne Wilkins is gonna take a TO to himself. Either side using one timeout here. Veteran head coach Wayne Wilkins gonna wanna talk things over. Yeah, maybe.
maybe going with one of these drawn up plays that you were talking about earlier. We had a little bit of a chat with Hank Ma, his assistant of 21 years. You take a look at some of the recent actions. Zalewski setting things up as usual for the Knights. The big three-man block trying to get it done for Humber. Maximum Crowder has had a nice day right up the gut. And Zalewski with a nice back set there. Some high-level volleyball being played here at the Hawks Nest tonight. Two incredibly even match teams in the Humber Hawks home opener. The last four meetings, these teams are two and two, and you can see why. Over it goes to Mill and trying to score on his former team. Jake Gomes over in one. Ferreira backtracks. Here's Gomes again. Fadari. And when he winds up, you better duck out of the way. A missile off of Fadari there. Once again, Humber doing an amazing job capitalizing on the free balls Niagara is giving them as that keeps them in this one, 24-23. Gomes trying to tie this up, and they will. Jake Gomes with the service ace. Who else? 24-24. Absolutely clutch there. By number 13 on the Humber side, Gomes, as this game now tied up in 24. Humber trying to end it here. And Niagara trying to go to that all-important fifth set to decide this one. The trend of timeouts continues. Tommy Sloan making the call. See Sloan there, always so cool and casual when discussing with his team. Not a guy who's really going to get fired up or anything, but he expects the best out of his team in his second year now with the club. And he was awfully impressive in that OCAA Provincial Tournament last year. Niagara was fourth in the West Division. Everybody knew they had a good team, but no one really expected them to compete too heavily. And sure enough, they find themselves in a tight semifinal matchup with the Humber Hawks. And a lot of that credit has to go the way of head coach Tommy Sloan. Yeah, really good job by the young coaching staff of the Niagara Knights. Real important service coming up here. And this game tied at 24 apiece. Tied at 24, got a win by two. Who's gonna take advantage? Gomes with a nice serve, Bujardini with the first touch. Here's Perlaz. Waiting for the call, it'll go the way of the Hawks. Umpires were looking for a deflection, didn't see one. Advantage Humber now on match point. Yeah, fortunately for the Humber Hawks there, didn't touch any of the block. It's now them seeing themselves for match point here. Game on the line, it's Jake Gomes. That one's put way up there. Gonna go the way of Sam Otten, and he'll tie things back up. Yeah, not surprising there that they're gonna set the ball to Sam Otten, and he's, as he's been so dangerous for the Knights, certainly the most consistent hitter that they've had. This offense on paper for the Knights has really been all Elijah Bujardini, but today we've seen a lot of the other guys. Sam Otten's got involved, Prelaz has had a few touches. Showcase in the depth are the Knights. Here's the aforementioned Sam Otten. Fifth year out of Toronto. Trying to put his team ahead. Jake Gomes puts it up to Federi. And that is off the block and down. The Hawks regain the lead. Federi getting fired up with that one. Putting that one hard off of the Knights block there. As you said it. Humber finding themselves up by one here. And how about this, Jaden Milne with a chance to end the night of his former team. Solid serve there. Perlaz off the block. Nice work to recover by Buckborough. Sam Otten puts it to Raddy Kim, can't control it. And once again, this game is tied. The Humber bench 
jumping up and down. They thought that was it off the block, but great work by Nicholas Buckborough. And once again, Samuel Otten doing everything he can to keep his team in this one. As we have a nail biter here in set number four. Fidari off the block, it's down, out of bounds. Fidari really starting to find himself here late in this one. A couple of really hard kills off of the Niagara block. As the Humber bench starting to get fired up, they're hopping and jumping all over the place. This is gonna be Maximum Crowder here, hopefully to finish it off for Humber. Match point here for the Hawks. Bujardini finds the block. And that one will go out of bounds once again. Tied up at 27. Back and forth we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Definitely a nail biter here. What a four set this is turning out to be. 27-27. Ashton Fair on the line. You touch, your, you touch this in the lunch hall off. Gomes over to a Silva Ferreira. That one's gonna drop down. Once again, Humber with the advantage here in set number four. Time and time again, they found themselves with the advantage. Haven't been able to close the show as we take another look at that Ferreira kill. Milne coming in super clutch there with some really good passes off of the service. Providing his setter with a good opportunity to lay down a hit. Sam Otten. That one's going to drop in. We're tied once again, 28. 28. Deja vu here in the Hawks' nest. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't have said it any better than that. That's three times now that Niagara has leaned on number 13, Sam Otten, to get that ball down in the Humber side of the court as once again we're tied. Once again, 28 28. Humber faithful getting beside their squad here. Gomes finds Blakey off the block, it goes out of bounds. Time and time again, these Hawks find themselves with the advantage. Is this the time they're able to stop the night of the Knights? Definitely gonna try it here. Eduardo Silva Ferreira trying to pull the curtains on the home opener. 29-28 here for Humber. Sam Otten finds the block, and that one goes out of bounds. Humber Bench could do nothing but smile at the moment. What is it gonna do to stop the Knights? This is one scrappy team here at the Hawks Nets. Milne gets the first touch, Fidari puts it up. Silva Ferreira finds the court. And the trend continues all the way up to 30-29. Definitely one that the Niagara Knights should have had there as it wasn't a super strong hit off of the set, but Humber is going to take it as they're now up 30 to 29. Andrew Blakey. Here's Perlaz off the block, it goes and out of bounds. Even Wayne Wilkins is having a laugh now. What could the Hawks do? It's 30 30. Yeah, the Hawks trying to do everything they can, really trying to go with that block. Once again, the Knights doing a really good job of hitting it off the block. Kyle Thiessen. That one drops in for the service ace. Roddy Kim leaned away from it. Josh Fadari wasn't ready. So for the first time since the 25th point, the Knights find themselves with the advantage. Trying to force a fifth and final set going to be a real important pass here for the Hawks. Raddy Kim, Jake Gomes, Rezart Sadiku off the block and out. These Humber Hawks are not giving up at all. It, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. So now it's the Hawks turn to tie things up. 31-31 and the dangerous man, Jake Gomes, awaiting service. Six foot six setter. Important serve here. A big one there. He tried to get everything behind it instead. It goes long. A bite of the shirt in frustration. Not happy with himself with that one, but 
Gotta have to turn the new page. Stay on your toes. This one is certainly not over yet. Knights, set point here. Here's Fadari. That one will find its home. 32-32. 24 all seems like a distant memory at the moment. A whole lot of points has gone on the board, and we still don't have a winner. Sadiku trying to find the advantage. Zaluski over to Perlaz. Off the block it goes. Crowder gets the touch. Fadari off the block and down. Once again, the Hawks have the lead. And they have really leaned on number two, Joshua Fadari, here for the majority of the kills in this tight set. This time block by Ashton Fair allows that one to get through. Is this the moment the Hawks were looking for? First touch by Buckborough. Zalewski, Prolaz off the block and out. That will do it. It sure took a while, but the Humber Hawks close out the Niagara Knights 34 to 32 in a four set thriller. Absolutely down to the wire. Those are those nail-biting games that you love to be a part of as Humber doing everything they can to fight themselves back into this one after dropping the first set and coming back and showing these Niagara Knights that they are no slouches and that they are a very strong team to look out for here in this one. Winning a home opener such as this one could really kickstart a whole lot of momentum for Wayne Wilkins and this Humber men's volleyball team. What a way to get your season started and to send the home crowd home happy. The Knights put up quite the fight as we get the player of the game announcement. What a debut for Joshua Fadari, player in the game in his Humber Hawks debut. And Wayne Wilkins has got to be happy with his young rookie starter there. Showing he can hang with the big boys in the OCAA conference. That'll do it from us from the Hawks Nest for myself, Adam Lusher, and my broadcasting partner, Matt Caldwell. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again soon.